Okay, so what I want to do is give a little bit of an overview how to correctly set up a email domain uh, for Mailgun. So what I've done actually, I've recorded this yesterday, but my audio was kaput. So I'm just gonna show something and then I'm gonna walk you through how I do it correctly. Now I'm using Namecheap. You can use any other platform for registrar that you want. And what you see here is what I actually do in order to make this somewhat use some automation, I actually use Cloudflare. You know, my name service at Cloudflare, our own and tiny, yours may be different. You can also set it directly up in Namecheap, but then you can't automate it. Let me show you how it looks in Cloudflare. I've set up Cloudflare. You see here, reputationjudge.com is there. Cloudflare is now protecting my site. It's already set up. And if I go to DNS, what you see is I have several DNS entries. What you should notice is that I put the TTL always to five minutes. Now, the reason why I put it to five minutes is because if I make a change, that means I only have to wait five minutes until I can actually see the propagation. So that's why my TTL goes to five minutes. You can set it to whatever you want. However, then, you know, your time may not be predictable. What you also notice is my proxy status is DNS only. So I'm only using the Cloudflare DNS, which means Cloudflare is free. Reputationjudge.com right now shows uh, is, is uh, in compliantly, and you see here it is pointed to that IP address in order for that to happen. And you see here the www is a C name pointing to this uh, content um, in order for this to be in compliant. This C name and this C name is so I can use it for websites and funnels in compliant. Mailgun requires several things that are always the same. My domain in Mailgun is replies. Dot reputationjudge.com. So what you see here, there is a C name, mail.replies. It always points to mailgun.org. You see there's an MX, replies.reputationjudge.com, always points to MXB, and it also points to MXA with 10 priority. Both of them. They're always there. They're always the same. You know, you can automate this. You can actually create this from Integromat in Cloudflare. What's always the same also is a DMARC. You know, my DMARC is V equals DMARC1. P equals reject. You could also have a P equals none, but I use reject. It just makes my email more secure. The text record here for the SPF is also always the same. It could be longer depending on if you use this mail server for something else, but right now it is just replies and it's this. What is different for every domain? is this you know you see here i have the replies sometimes the name is different and also the content of the message is different because this is a dkim this is a key in order to actually secure your emails i can show you this but it's not going to help you that much but these are the entries that you have to have all of them you cannot miss one now let's go to mailgun so when you set up mailgun mailgun actually gives you most of the entries that you have to put in. And you actually, you see here, this is replies.reputationjudge.com. This is in sending domain settings. I have multiple domains in here, but this is the one that I'm gonna show you. It gives you the text record. It gives you, or they give you the two text records here, one for SPF and one for the DKIM. It also gives you the MXs. It also gives you the C name here that's always pointed into the same spot. What it doesn't tell you to do is to do the DMARC, and that's what most people don't do. That's why there is a very variable in deliverability. Mailgun tells you exactly what you're supposed to put in, and you see here the check marks at the beginning. If that domain isn't verified, then you can't use it in anything. So the domain needs to be verified. You need to have these five check marks in here, otherwise it won't work. Let's go to Compliantly. How does this look in compliance? There are several things that I want to show you here. Uh, first of all, this is this is a, a standard SAS account. I have modified the interface a little bit, and I have my settings um, here under the user. So when I go to the general settings here, and I go to SMTP and Mailgun service, you see that my default um, provider here is replies.reputationjudge.com. So I have set this up on the agency side so that it actually uses this Mailgun profile. How to do that, you know, I'm going to do in a separate video, but just see that this is set up this way. What I want to show you is how do I know that this actually works? When you look at my contacts here, you know, first of all, there's my contact, um, and then I have a male genius contact here. 
And what you see in this contact here, it's, it has a test email here, test at mail, uh, or, or test something at test.mailgenius.com. And you see I've sent several emails. And what I do with this is I test how this works. I've tested it with different settings. This is where I started. I start with a Mail Genius score of 91. It tells me that the DMARC is failing. There are some DKIM, some list, some subscribe headers, and some stuff in here. So what I can do here is I can click down. And it tells me what I need to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to look at this. It tells me what I need to do. I'm going to do that. So I'm going through here and I'm fixing all of these. And while I'm doing that, you see I get to 92 because I fixed that one. I get to 93 because I fixed another one. I'm staying at 93 because I did something not completely. And then what you see here, I fixed the D mark. And once I fix the D mark, I'm at 97. Now, there's two things here that I can't really change. The age of the domain, of course, you know, the domain's very young, so that will change over time. And then there's also some tracking in here, and that tracking I don't want to change. So what I am, though, I'm, I'm at 97. It's green. It becomes green over 95, and that's where I want to be. So right now I have maximum deliverability on this. This is the intention of what I want to do. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how I do this with one domain so or with another domain so that you can see uh, how I actually get to the point. But you see, I have this contact here because I always test it. And you need to keep monitoring it. If you don't monitor it, um, something may happen and somebody may fiddle with your DNS settings and all of a sudden it doesn't work. Here's one thing that I'm going to show you here. You see here where it says the list unsubscribe header is not there. It gives me a minus. Let me show you where that needs to be adjusted. So here I'm back into Mailgun. So what you do is you're in the DNS records here. You go to domain settings. You see here for the sending domain. So it's under sending, domain settings, domain. And what you see here is I have the click tracking on, I have the open tracking on, and now I have subscribes on. This is normally off. And when you switch this to on, then you actually fix that list unsubscribe header. Reason for this is, is this automatically enters an unsubscribe to every single email. What you can do is when you click on edit here, it will let you actually customize what's underneath it. So you can make it look nicer, you can move it down and so on. But this is on in my mail gun and that actually increases deliverability. In the next video, I'm going to just go through a domain and show you how I set up a completely new domain um, and where I get all the stuff step by step.